Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn and our topic for today is arithmetic sequence. So our objectives for this one are define arithmetic sequence, identify arithmetic sequence, and find the common difference of arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let's have this one. Observe the rule followed by the following sequence. So if you will notice, the following sequence that we have here are following almost the same rule, and that is adding a fixed number. In 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you are actually adding 2. In 3, 7, 11, 15, you are adding 4. In 5, 9, 13, 17, you are adding a fixed number, which is also 4. In 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, you are adding 3. Then on the next one, you are adding 8. Then you are adding 5 for the last one. So if this is the rule of your sequence, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. So therefore, these are examples of arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by adding a fixed number called common difference. Common difference, which is denoted by letter D, is a fixed number added to the terms of arithmetic sequence. Common difference is called common difference because you can actually solve the common difference by subtracting any consecutive terms of arithmetic sequence. That's the word difference, which is the answer to subtraction. So if you subtract any consecutive terms of your arithmetic sequence, you will get a difference which is common to all. So when you subtract the terms, make sure that you subtract the term minus the previous term. So let's try our example a while ago. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is an example of arithmetic sequence. So therefore, this should have a common difference. So let's try. 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 10 minus 8 is also 2. So when you subtract any consecutive terms of this arithmetic sequence, you will have the same answer, which is 2. So therefore, the common difference of this arithmetic sequence is 2. Or you can write D is equal to 2 because common difference is denoted by letter D. Let's try another example. 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. So when you subtract 7 minus 3, you will have 4. 11 minus 7 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. 19 minus 15 is also 4. So the common difference for this arithmetic sequence is 4. So D is equal to 4. Then let's have another one. So 0, 8, 16, 24, 32. So when you subtract any consecutive terms on this arithmetic sequence, you will have the same answer or difference, which is 8. Therefore, the common difference is 8. So, if a given sequence has a common difference, automatic that sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So, if it has no common difference, then it is not an arithmetic sequence. So, since the common difference is important to arithmetic sequence, let's practice how to find the common difference. So, let's try this. Find the common difference of the following arithmetic sequence. So, let's start with negative 2, 4, 10, and 16. So, a while ago, I told you that if you want to solve for the common difference, you just simply subtract any consecutive terms on that arithmetic sequence. So, for this one, we can just simply subtract 4 minus negative 2. Then, you will have 6. Or, you can also try 10 minus 4, which is also 6. You can also have 16 minus 10, which is also 6. So, therefore, the common difference for this arithmetic sequence is 6 or D is equal to 6. So, if you're sure that the given is arithmetic sequence, you don't have to subtract all the consecutive terms. You can just simply pick one, subtract those terms, then you will have the common difference. So, for this one, you can just simply check 10 minus 4 or 16 minus 10. You will have 6. So, let's have the next one. 20, 18, 16, and 14. So notice that this one is different from the previous example because the terms on this arithmetic sequence are descending. So if the terms of your arithmetic sequence are descending, that will take effect on your common difference. So let's try this. 
18 minus 20 is negative 2. So see, the common difference this time is negative 2. Same with the rest of the term. So 16 minus 18 is negative 2. 14 minus 16 is also negative 2. So the common difference for this arithmetic sequence is negative 2. So this equal to negative 2. So you have to remember, if the terms of your arithmetic sequence are descending, then the common difference is negative. So let's have another one. 2x, 4x, 6x, and 8x. So although you have your variable, the process of getting the common difference is just the same. So you subtract any consecutive terms. So for this one, we can have 4x minus 2x, which is 2x. 6x minus 4x is also 2x. 8x minus 6x is 2x. So therefore, the common difference is 2x. Let's have the last one. 3 square root of 3, 5 square root of 3, 7 square root of 3, 9 square root of 3. So the process of getting the common difference is just the same. Subtract any consecutive terms. So you will have here 2 square root of 3, 2 square root of 3, 2 square root of 3. So the common difference for this is 2 square root of 3. So after finding the common difference, you can now use the common difference to find the terms on your arithmetic sequence. So specifically the next term. So let's try the first one. So the next term for this one is 22. You simply add 6 to your 16. You will have 22. For the next one, you will have 12. Add negative 2 to 14. Then we can have na next term for the third example, which is 10x. Then for the last one, we will have 11 square root of 3. You can also use the common difference to identify if a given sequence is arithmetic sequence or not. So let's try this. Identify the following whether arithmetic sequence or not. So let's have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. If the given sequence has a common difference, then that sequence is arithmetic sequence. If it has no common difference, then that is not arithmetic sequence. So for this one, let's look for the difference of consecutive terms. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 8 minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3, 14 minus 11 is 3. So therefore, we have a common difference, which is 3. So we can say that this sequence is an example of arithmetic sequence. So let's have the next. 3, 9, 15, 20, 36. So the same with what we did on the first example. You just simply get the difference between the consecutive terms. So for this one, we have 6, 6, 5, 6. So it is not common to all, so therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Next one, so 4, negative 1, negative 6, negative 11. So get the difference between consecutive terms. Uh, for the first one, we will have negative 5, then we will have negative 5, then the last one, we will have negative 5. So therefore, we have a common difference, which is negative 5. So this is arithmetic sequence. Then the last one. So we subtract negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. Negative 3 minus 4 is 1. Negative 2 minus negative 3 is 1. So obviously, it has no common difference. Therefore, it is not arithmetic sequence. So good job. We're done. Thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.